Hi, my name is Dawn. I'm Staelis and Seashell. What we're doing here today is we're uh, cleaning the fish, processing it, uh, ready for our smokehouse. My name is Clarence Williams. I'm from Taylor's. I was um, brought up in this way. It's part of our culture and tradition. You know, smoking salmon. Like I remember my grandparents doing it from when I was a child, you know. And, 60 years old, been doing it all my life, and it's really, really important to our people, and it's been revived and stuff. Yeah, Hi, my name is uh, Douglas Commodore there. I'm from the Healers there. I was born and raised on this reserve, and like me and Clarence, we're from down, there, down the end there. We call that the original village, and our, our ancestors were, they used to live in our smokehouses down the end, not there. We had a small cottage, it's probably the same age, it's not there. But what we're continuing on, preserving our smoked salmon, not there, just continuing on with our ancestors. Hi, my name is Cutting all the fins off, and uh, you now he's gonna fillet it there and take all the, the backbones out and the bones. Get it ready for the smoke. And these these uh, springs are four to five years old. Like these are four-year-old springs. And these are all these are all planted in uh, Kahila's hatchery. Some of them they have uh, marks uh, like we cut off the adipose and that there. To show where they come from, and, and sometimes they put a like a, a, a pin or something in their head, and that there to to mark where they go and all that there. This is the salt what we use, of course pour salt and there's a little bit of brown sugar in there. <laughs> then you put that coarse salt on bottom, then we put coarse salt on top there. Just salt and a little bit of brown sugar. Right here. So is, it, is that in a salt mixture now? Yes, yeah. Prime yes. it for uh, 10 to 12 hours there, eh? But if you want to make the candy in that there, you can prime it for 14 to 16 hours in there, eh? But you add more, okay. more uh, brown sugar than salt. Because the brown sugar preserves it in that there. And it gets like the real, real candy, can't it? The, the bear. So when we take it, mostly we don't really waste nothing. We smoke almost everything here. Eh? Like some, some of our people, we smoke even the back, backbone and everything here. Eh? And then I'm doing cutting lines in there to keep it from spreading there so it'll dry more faster than that there. Preserve, like the smoke will take in there and, and it spreads and it goes right into the meat and everything. And then we use this stick there. What do you... To spread it there to keep it from
And that keeps it spread there, so the smoke will get right in there, go right into the meat and that there. We give it the smoke flavor. Put them there yesterday. Yeah. Is this a cold smoke or a hot smoke? Uh, kind of cold smoke in that there, yeah. Yeah, because it's cold smoke, it helps, it makes it, makes it, preserves it more faster than that. If we use that, uh, the hot, more hot, Wood in that there, and then it kind of cooks it in that. There. This is this is all there. This is what we use to to smoke to help smoke it, preserve it. We use alder or maple, or even sometimes where some people use a uh, wild cherry wood in that there. Eh? This is three or four years. This this one. We have another one on the other property that's 140 years old. Mm -hmm. So it gets better with age. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had smoke houses all along here because of the creek here? Yes, yes, yeah. Because you should see during the winter time, it's a little bit early right now, the tens of thousands of salmon come right in. The house that's still standing. There used to be a, a whole pile of smokehouses all the way down to the Harrison River and all along the, the sides of the, um, the Harrison River. So this smokehouse outlasted all the other smokehouses. I still used it up until maybe two or three years ago. There's three stories in this smokehouse. This is the last most important part of our history, right here. Okay, this is a this is a smoke salmon. This is a smoke chinook salmon, or jack spring we call it. And uh, it's all filleted and everything. It's cut like this, so the smoke will get get into there. We brime it to 10 to 12 hours in that there. Then we smoke it for 72 hours, maybe even longer, depending if they're bigger, and then we, it takes four to five days to do them in that there. But this is this is fully smoked. It just, these could last when they're fully, when they're fully smoked, they could last like a year in that. You gotta keep them in a cool spot. But if you want to, you, you, you could can them in that there. Put them in jars and then you can them and then they could last three to four, four years. And, but they're still good to eat in that there yet. How is it? <laughs> Yummy. Mm -hmm. Good. Try it, Alexi. There's a really good salt in there. Oh, that's you excellent. Typically just salt and pepper or nothing. No, I just, this is, this is so